The COVID pandemic has brought a great deal of suffering and loss, but it's also produced some truly inspirational responses. One example is the response to the breakdown of the NHS's privatized global supply chains. As well as calling in the military, a call went out to UK manufacturers to see what could be made locally rather than imported. The response by manufacturers and other specialists, including Formula One racing teams, medical companies, and universities, revealed not only a willingness to contribute, it also revealed an ability to react extremely quickly, to cooperate with both each other and government, as well as to mobilize high-performance networks of specialists. When new products, such as breathing machines and PPE emerged, the designs were open sourced for others around the world to use free of charge. Corporate purpose became a reality. Our contribution to the return of the state focuses on this more positive side of the pandemic. We've shown what we can do in the short term and under extreme pressure, and we really should celebrate that. The best way to do that is firstly, to not lose that spirit of cooperation as we emerge from the pandemic. The same cooperative approach could and should be used to address much longer term issues and to solve them. We live in a world of 24 hour news and politics, and that's often reduced to short sound bites. But that won't produce ambitious, well thought out policies, which are what we need. So that's why you should read The Return of the State.